Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Reacting To. My name is Jacob Restituta. I'm a musician, a songwriter, and a producer from Long Island, New York. And today, we're going to be reacting to Shawn Mendes' new song, If I Can't Have You. He's a big hit artist. He writes a ton of hits. He's written a whole lot of number one hits. I think his music's pretty good, especially his last album. I think it was discovered on Vine, you know, and it's just amazing that how far social media can take you. We're going to hear his new song. Let's see what we got. Right off the bat, two seconds in, you hear the like, swelling intro. I think I mentioned in one of my recent videos that um, the song that we were, I was reacting to just started right away, um, and there was no like intro or anything like that, and it was referencing something similar to this where it uh, kind of swells into the song. I can't write one song that's not about you Can't drink without thinking about you Is it too one of the coolest things about Shawn Mendes' voice is I think it breaks up pretty well, meaning like it kind of has like a growl to it. It's kind of raspy in certain things, so it's, that's kind of cool. Right off the bat, we hear a couple of instruments. Uh, we hear the kick drum. Every time the notes hit, the kick drum goes. It uh, sounds like there's definitely electric guitars and definitely a piano. Now like a high-pass uh, piano or maybe like an electronic piano. High pass meaning only the high frequencies pass through where a lot of the lower end you can't hear. I'm in Toronto and I got this view but I might as well be in a hotel. Four on the floor meaning the kick is on every beat and then uh, have a really cool guitar riff going on. I feel like that's pretty classic to Shawn Mendes like doing a guitar riff similar to this. Yeah, it doesn't matter cause I'm so consumed spending all my nights and the guitars are definitely recorded in stereo, meaning it's either two guitars that they recorded one take and then record another take and then pan them a bit, or they recorded it in two different areas of the room, meaning they had a mic really close to the, the amp and then a, mark, a mic maybe a little farther away. And that actually, because one mic's picking up the same exact sound a little earlier and a little one's doing it a little later because of the distance, the distance that it takes for the, tr the sound to travel, um, it gives it a wider, fatter, bigger sound. From you. Oh, I'm good. oh, that's cool, that little sound right there. Good at keeping my distance, I know that show the feeling I'm missing you. It's like a percussive kind of thing, but almost like a scratch. I know that I hate to admit it, but everything means nothing if I can't have you. I can't write one song that's not a It sounds like the chorus chord progression goes one chord, a five, six chord, meaning a five chord with the third note of the chord, because chords have three notes usually in them, one, three, and five. And this, you can invert them, and meaning you could take the one, three, five and make it three, five, one, or five, one, three. It sounds like it's a one chord to an inverted five chord to a six chord, back to the inverted five chord. You can hear some pretty cool harmonies in there. I think it sounds like it's an octave up falsetto that he's doing. Uh, definitely in the left ear, you can hear it a lot more. You can hear it a little in the right ear, but um, definitely in the left. Sounds like there's a bunch of takes, so it almost sounds like it could be a choir. I'm so sorry that my timing's off, but I can't move on if we're still gonna Really like those guitar sounds. Talk. Is it wrong for me to not want half? I want all of you. All it's really hard not to tap your foot to the song. It's a catchy song. Hold on, I wanna rewind it for a second. I wanna I wanna re hear something. Is it wrong for me to not want half? I want all of you, all the strings attached. Oh, I'm good at keeping my distance Some harmonies that show the feeling I'm missing you know that I hate to admit it but everything means nothing if I so throughout the song so far you keep hearing a repeating um, where he's doing the chords the chords and it's kind of a beat and then it drops out right before the next section so every time a new section is about to come it sounds like every all the music drops out and that piano comes in next section I can't have you and it sounds like every time says, he says you in this, there's like a choir singing you. Too late 
Now we have like a snare reel thing going on in there. I don't know if this is the same exact riff or similar riff, but it's very similar, if not the same, as the, the, the verses. But it's pretty cool because like now it has a totally different feel than the verses did uh, in this bridge. Move on, forget you, but I hold on. Everything means nothing if I can't have you now. I can't write one song that's not about Nice clap. That piano is sweet. That note, wow. Is that him or is that like a the choir? Let's rewind that. I really like those oohs by the, the choir. That's fantastic. Very catchy. Definitely gonna be on the radio all the time. Very cool. So that was If I Can't Have You by Sean Mendes. My name is Jacob Restituto. If you'd like to take a listen to my own music, there's a link in the description. And hey, if you like these reacting to videos, if you think that they are, they're fun and if they're different uh, than other reacting to videos you've seen before, I'd love it if you could tag your friends or share it with your friends. All right, thanks so much. Have a great rest of your day.